Hello, and welcome to another Adverity Platform Guide. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to transform your location data into a standardized format using the Unify Location Data Enrichment. But first, what is the Unify Location Data Enrichment and how does it work? Adverity's Unify Location Data Enrichment lets you standardize location values based on your existing location data. For example, you have location data in the form of country names in your dataset, such as United States, and want to automatically map those names to standardized ISO Alpha 2 country codes, such as US. This means you can automatically standardize all your datasets according to a single consistent naming convention, without making manual adjustments or maintaining a lookup table. In this example, let's say we want to convert the location data in our Google Analytics data stream from country names to standard ISO Alpha 2 country codes. First, head over to the Enrichments page, click Create Enrichment, and then click Unify Location Data. Next, select the data stream you want to apply this enrichment to. Selecting a data stream type will assign this enrichment to all data streams of that type. So all your Google Ads data streams, if you have multiple Google Ads data streams, for example. You can also exclude specific data streams too, if you want. In this case, we are just going to add it to our Google Analytics data stream and then click Next. Now, we need to configure the instructions that determine which values we want to unify. First, in the Source Column drop-down list, select the column that contains the values you'd like to adjust. In this case, that's the country column. Next, in the location type field, select the type of location data in your source column. If the location data in the source column contains two letter country codes, such as US, select ISO 3166-1 alpha 2. If the location data in the source column contains three letter country codes, such as USA, select ISO 3166-1 alpha 3. You can find a detailed description of all location data types in the Adverity documentation. In this example, we'll select country name because that's what the source column contains. Then click apply to the right. In the next section, you need to select the country or region standards you want your location data to comply with. In this example, we want our location data to be mapped to two letter country codes. So we select ISO 3166-1 alpha 2 then click Confirm Selection to the right. Lastly, we need to tell Adverity what to do if any errors occur. This could happen if location data is not recognized due to a spelling error in the country name, for example. If we select Stop and Flag, the enrichment will stop and an error message is displayed in the data stream overview. If we select Ignore, the Unify Location Data Enrichment will simply leave the new column blank if it encounters an error. For now, we'll select Flag and Notify. This means an email is sent to the user that created the enrichment if Adverity encounters an error, but the enrichment will continue to process the rest of the data. You can also enter a value that Adverity should use if there is no value in the source column, for example, NA. This can be used to filter for any missing location data in the dataset, so we'll include NA. After configuring the settings for our new Unify Location Data Enrichment, you can check it's working by clicking the Table Preview tab at the top of the page. The original column and new column are highlighted in blue, and you can see that the Unify Location Data Enrichment works. The new column has been named automatically, and all the original location data values have been transformed into standardized country codes. When you are happy with the instructions, simply click Next. Then, give your enrichment a name and click Create to save it. By navigating to our Google Analytics data stream, we can see that our new enrichment has already been assigned. To apply it, we either need to run a manual fetch or refetch our last data fetch. If you have scheduling set up, you can also wait until the next scheduled data fetch. Now our data has been refetched, we can check our data extract to see that yes, the enrichment has successfully unified our location data. And there you go. That's how you use the Unify Location Data Enrichment. Thanks for watching. 
For more information on using the Unify Location Data Enrichment and any other enrichments, be sure to check out the Adverity documentation.